in the 3D printing world, we have seen many different forms of motion systems, including linear rails, ball screws, lead screws, belts, pulleys. But one thing we haven't seen is movement via magnets. And yeah, you heard that right, magnets. Let's take a deep dive into this machine because oh, it just keeps on getting better and better. This is the Magneto X, a 400 by 300 by 300 millimeter filament 3D printer that uses a magnetic linear motor system for the X and Y axes. Now this goes beyond the typical belts and pulley systems we've seen in machines such as the Prusa builds, the Vorons, those by Creality, and pretty much any other desktop triple F machine. But why is this machine such a big deal? This machine has been brought into the market by P.O. Poly, a Hong Kong based 3D printer manufacturer. Up until now, PO Poly specialized primarily in professional MSLA large format resin 3D printers. Their recent step into the fused filament fabrication space has made a mark, introducing a machine that supposedly offers unparalleled speeds and precision using a magnetic motion system. We're talking a repeatability of 3 microns. The best way I can describe why this is a big deal is imagine a great soccer player who has mastered their skills through years of practice, training, and knowledge, switching over to another sport such as swimming, and immediately being great at it too. Resin printing and filament printing are pretty different processes when it comes to hardware, materials, and the technology. P.O. Poly was able to take what they knew regards to the market and do supposedly better than what's currently out there by putting magnetic linear motors on 3D printers, a design feature seen on industrial CNC machines. Obviously, time will tell once the pre-order machines start coming out and people really put their machines to use. By the looks of this photo, the X and Y axes have a similar geometry to a linear rail, however instead feature an arrangement of magnets along its length. The printer has a magneto linear motor to move along these magnetic rails. The system will technically simplify extruder replacement since there are no belts to worry about. These magnetic rails are said to have low friction, which extends the lifespan of the system and reduces calibration needs. The system will also be able to monitor and adjust the motor's position for high quality prints as it is closed loop. The maglev motor can also auto disengage to prevent extensive damage if the extruder encounters an object or crashes into a print. The linear motor can be thought of as a flat unrolled motor where the rotor is attached to the moving component which is the tool head and the stator is forming the track along the axis. The mag xy system uses a linear magnetic encoder with one micrometer accuracy. The motor is a 48 volt three phase brushless DC motor with a rated current of 3 amps. The system also has true closed loop control for torque, speed, and position, which is important for real time adjustments and corrections during the printing process. Some other notable features include the machine's print speed of 800 millimeters per second with a maximum acceleration of 22,000 millimeters per second squared. This makes it faster than the modern Core XY printers from Bamboo Lab. Their extruder is also equipped with 90 newtons of force and a pull speed of 30 millimeters per second, as well as an optimized melt zone with a peak flow rate of 60 millimeters cubed per second. For comparison, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon has a max flow rate of only 32. One thing I quite value about PO Poly and their new FFF machine is their support to the open source community, becoming not only backers of the Clipper firmware and also using and supporting Orca Slicer. The Magneto X toolhead might also be compatible with popular E3D V6 Volcano hotends, suggesting the possibility for mods by its users. The Magneto X machine was demoed last month at the East Coast RepRap Festival. It unfortunately wasn't printing at this event due to some damage to the extruder from shipping, but they still had the system running, showing its very fast movement. I was still surprised how quiet the machine was while operating in the videos, and I wonder what the sound difference would be like in person. One of my biggest concerns was with how much the 3D printer itself was shaking and vibrating during movements. I'm assuming it was significantly worse at the festival since the machine was probably sitting on a foldable event table, which is definitely not the most stable structure. What I'm curious to know is how much the machine will shake or vibrate when printing on a 
stable surface or a heavy duty workbench. I'm also curious how the magnetic rails and lever motor will last over time and what the maintenance would look like for those aspects of the machine. Would the typical dust and debris we collect on other FFF machines affect the magnetic system? And is an enclosure just a better idea for this reason, among the other reasons why you'd want an enclosure? The hot end will probably be pretty serviceable, but how about replacement sensors or parts for the magnetic motion system? Hopefully P.O. Poly will consider this and also sell spare parts for their machine. Also, I'm curious to see what calibration will be like for this machine, considering it has closed loop control. How well will it work right out of the box? Pretty funny because my last video I titled Prusa Killer about the A1 Mini and now already we've got a printer that can be competition to the Bamboo X1C Carbon. There is so much action happening in the consumer desktop additive industry right now that is actually hard to keep up with. Just taking a look at it, like aesthetically, it's a nice looking machine. So the end of their video says levitating the future of 3D printing, which um, it's quite fitting considering their system uses magnets. Also, I don't know about you, but I kind of love how action themed the trailers for all these new printers are. Like they have this awesome music going, all these action shots of the machine. It's a great way to market new technology, like very entertaining. But enough about my thoughts. What do you think of this machine? Would you buy one? And what do you think of the magnetic motion system? Is it overkill or pretty useful? Feel free to discuss in the comments below.